Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've gotten a lot lately. And that is how do you transfer Bitcoin from crypto.com into your Coinbase account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Why would you want to transfer Bitcoin from crypto.com into Coinbase? Well, that's pretty easy. If you have a lot of different Bitcoin wallet addresses, it can get kind of confusing. So sometimes it's easier just to have it in one particular account. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled in these two apps right here, the Coinbase app and the Crypto.com app. Check my video description. I'm going to try to leave the written instructions there as well. But we're going to go ahead and start in the Coinbase app since we're going to be transferring Bitcoin from Crypto.com into Coinbase. So I'll open up my Coinbase app now. Okay, I went ahead and opened up my Coinbase app. This is the home screen here. Here on the home screen, you're going to see a brief snippet about your account. But in order to transfer Bitcoin from your Crypto.com account into your Coinbase account, you do need to get your Bitcoin wallet address here in Coinbase. So so what you want to do is scroll down until you see Bitcoin. Make sure that you are choosing the correct Bitcoin you're going to be transferring. Today we're doing the BTC Bitcoin, so I'll click there. Okay, once you click there, then you're going to see the current trading price for Bitcoin. As you can see, it's trading for about $42,000 right now. But in order to transfer Bitcoin from your crypto.com account into your Coinbase account, you need to get the wallet address. And where you find that is right here on your balance. As you can see, it has the Bitcoin logo. It says Bitcoin and it will show your balance. Click there. Don't click on the trade button. Once you click there, it's going to bring up more transactional history for your Bitcoin account. But in order to find your Bitcoin wallet address inside of Coinbase, you want to click on this little QR code looking thing here on the top right. Okay, once you click there, then you're going to see the QR code. So you can easily scan this QR code in your crypto.com account. But if you're like me, you just have one phone, so it doesn't really work that way. So what I'll normally do is just go ahead and click on this copy button right here. Okay, now it turns green. So I have now copied my Bitcoin wallet address from my Coinbase account onto my clipboard. Now we're done inside of the Coinbase account. Let me switch over to my crypto.com account now. Okay, so I'm going to open up my crypto.com app here on the right. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com account. So now we can go ahead and begin the process of transferring Bitcoin from our crypto.com account into our Coinbase account. And you want to click on this button right here called transfer here on the kind of top right. Next, you're going to get this pop up right here, deposit or withdraw. We are withdrawing Bitcoin from crypto.com and sending it to our Coinbase account. So I'll click on withdraw. And next, we're going to get to choose either crypto or fiat. We are working with Bitcoin. So we're going to choose crypto right here. And then you're going to get another option. So you get three options here. We're sending it to an external wallet since it's a different company than crypto.com. We're sending to Coinbase. So click here on external wallet. Next, in order to transfer Bitcoin from your crypto.com app into your Coinbase account, you do need to add the Coinbase wallet as an approved wallet. So click here on this blue wallet address. Next, you want to choose the type of cryptocurrency we're going to be transferring. We are transferring BTC today. So that is Bitcoin. Make sure that you choose the correct wallet because because if you send the incorrect type of cryptocurrency to that wallet, it could be lost forever. So I'm going to click here on Bitcoin. Next, with the information that we copied from our Coinbase account, the long string of numbers, you just want to paste it right here. So click right there and we'll paste it right in. Okay, I went ahead and pasted that information in. You can also type it in, but that's really an unsecure way to do it because if you type it in incorrectly, it could end up going to someone else and then it's lost forever. So copy and paste is always going to be the best way. Next, you want to go ahead and name the wallet. So we're transferring from Coinbase. I'm sorry, we're transferring to Coinbase. So I'll go ahead and just type in my Coinbase BTC wallet. Okay, now that we've named it, I want to go ahead and click on continue. Okay, crypto.com is asking me to verify my passcode to make sure it is me who's adding in this external Bitcoin wallet address. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Next, crypto.com is asking me to enter in my two factor authentication code. This is the code that you set up with Google Authenticator or some other type of app. So let me switch over to my Google Authentication app. Okay, guys, here I am in my Google Authentication app. So here is my two factor authentication code. Make sure that you do this quickly because as you can see, the timer is kind of ticking out. So I'll usually wait until it turns green and then copy it. So let me switch on over to my crypto.com account after copying this. Okay, I'm going to paste the code in now and I'm going to click continue. Okay, just a quick second later, after confirming my two-factor authentication code, you can see my Coinbase Bitcoin wallet has now been added. So now in order to transfer Bitcoin from crypto.com into my Coinbase account, you want to click on this blue button here on the right called withdraw Bitcoin. Okay, next you want to go ahead and choose how much Bitcoin you would like to withdraw from your crypto com account into your Coinbase account. There's usually a minimum that you need to do, but let me go ahead and just set this up for 0 0.001, which is about $43 and see if it will accept. So once you've chosen that, make sure you look right here. It's about 43 US dollars. If you're okay with that, you can put a note there for your reference if you'd like. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click on withdraw. Okay. Next, they're giving me this error saying it has to be 0 0.0012 Bitcoin minimum. So let me go ahead and click okay and correct that. Okay. I went ahead and corrected that. I'm going to click on withdraw once again. Okay. Next, you're going to get this confirmation letting you know what the amount is. 
is, what the fee is going to be, and the total. As you can see, it looks like it's quite expensive to send Bitcoin, so kind of keep that in mind. If you're okay with that, go ahead and click on this confirm button here on the bottom. Nextcrypto.com is asking me to enter my passcode in once again. Nextcrypto.com is asking me to enter in two more verifications. They sent a text message to my cell phone number, and they also want me to go ahead and enter in my 2FA authentication code once again. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, and enter in the code. I'm going to click on continue. Okay, next this screen pops up and as you can see my Bitcoin withdrawal request has been submitted so it has to go through the blockchain. So let me go ahead and click here and then it just brings you back here to your crypto.com home screen. Now you will receive a confirmation email to the email address set up with your crypto.com. You will also receive verification from Coinbase once the transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain. So there you have it guys. If you're looking for information on how to transfer Bitcoin from your crypto.com account to your Coinbase base account. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.